when one uses a mathematical approach, one has to think about a question very precisely and clearly. And so it helps you focus. Um, you have to think of a precise question that you want to answer. And then you have to make definite assumptions. And you have to be aware of those assumptions. OK, so in my own work, I often um, model um, ecological systems. And one is interested in uh, species diversity and what maintains species diversity and um, what reduces species diversity. Or um, one might be interested in um, eliminating pests or controlling an epidemic. So one can use uh, mathematical equations um, where you, for example, in the population ecology, um, you want to look at how interactions result in species diversity or, or not. Um, you, you can write an equation about how each population changes in time um, based on the nutrients that they're competing for, the interactions between the species, and then you can run the model or analyze the model to see what the model predicts as far as you know, what kinds of interactions create more diversity, what kinds of interactions create less diversity. So uh, when you do mathematical biology, you have to develop mathematics. And um, so the tools and um, techniques that people are developing for certain problems can be used in various other problems. So for example, um, the theory in dynamical systems, the bifurcation theory and chaos theory have made lots of strides be based on questions that people have been asking in biology and the, necessi the necessity of using different tools and techniques to analyze the models, the biological models. But certainly all these tools that are developed for biological models can be used in various other you know, models. There's nothing s totally special about biological models. But it does drive questions and you know, create, you, know, you need to create new mathematics to be able to answer those questions.